Hi everyone and welcome to August Faves and Fails. This is the video that I'm going to be talking about all of my ultimate failures and all of my ultimate favourite products that I've been trying out on and off camera during the month of August. There are a lot of products you may want to get yourself a cup of tea and some sort of snack to give you a little bit of energy to get yourself all the way through to the end of this video. I'm not gonna lie, every single time I sit down and film a faves and fails video, I get a little bit scared of the amount of products that are supposed to feature in that video and I end up bumping some into the next month faves and fails and it's a bit of a vicious circle. It starts again and it just goes on and on and on. So I am determined today to fit every single product that I have on my list in this video so we can start September with a clean slate. That is my intention. It may not work out. Anyway, if you're new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload new content on YouTube every single week and I would absolutely love it if you would consider coming and joining the Pampered Wolf Pack by clicking that like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's jump straight into the news. Now you may be aware of this already, you might have been targeted personally or you might have seen my community tab post that went live around about three and a half weeks ago now when all of this kicked off. I'm hoping we're at the end of it now, but you never know. So uh, thank you very much to the Pampered Wolfpack members that first made me aware that this was even an issue. I'm not online 100% of the time and sometimes these things fall through the cracks and it is super, super important that this gets nipped immediately these people are reported, the comments are deleted and the users are blocked. My channel is the latest in a very long line of channels that are being targeted by the scammers. If you get contacted by a scammer, basically they will reply to one of your comments posing as me. They will tell you you've won a competition and ask you to ring or text a WhatsApp number. Please do not ring or text that WhatsApp number. Firstly, I have no competitions or giveaways going off at the moment. And two, even if I did, I would never ask you to contact me via WhatsApp, ever, ever, ever. I don't use WhatsApp as a means of communication, ever. It's always Instagram or YouTube. You have not won a competition if you are contacted by these people. I'm not even quite sure what happens if you do text or call the number. I'm assuming they get all of your details and then it just spirals and the web gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I really hope none of you were affected by this. I hope I caught it immediately. If you do see one of these comments, please either let me know or report it to YouTube who will then deal with the problem. I will try and do everything that I possibly can to make sure none of you are affected but here is your warning to be extra extra vigilant if you do see one of these comments and you do think it looks a little bit iffy it probably is so please be warned let's talk about some failures now this first one is actually two products in one and I'm seriously disappointed about these I don't think I've been as disappointed about a couple of products since the Dior Backstage Concealer that I keep going on about. Do you think I'll ever stop talking about my disappointment with that? No, probably not. These are from Walida and these are the Skin Food Rich and also the Skin Food Light. I'm not saying that these are bad products. The ingredients in these are really nice. Uh, I heard a lot of people say that the original Skin Food was supposed to be a dupe in texture and feel to the Magic Cream by Charlotte Tilbury. So I was really eager to get my hands on this. The level of fragrance and essential oils in both of these are off the chart. Do they do a fragrance free version? I feel like they should. I can't find one anywhere online. Please do let me know if I'm wrong because I will buy it in a heartbeat. I'm gonna end up using these on my hands because I cannot bring myself to put these anywhere near my face. I've had them on my skin a couple of times and just thought, oh no. <laughs> No, 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 not for me. I'm not knocking it. If you love this, you should carry on using it, but this stuff just gets up my nose. And I think it's eucalyptus. 
Maybe it's not eucalyptus. I don't even know what it is, but it's just something that I don't like. And it, it doesn't have the greatest reaction on my skin. And it's such a shame because the other ingredients in this would do my skin the world of good. It's just the two unnecessary ingredients that are in this. And there's probably about four or five unnecessary ingredients in this in the form of essential oils and fragrance that just make it unusable for me. I am not opposed to all skincare with fragrance and essential oils at a certain level, but blimey, this just completely knocks me out with the fragrance. I just can't, no, 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 no. The feel of both of these though is lovely, really is. This is really thick and rich. It's quite difficult to rub in immediately. A little goes a long way, but it does eventually sink into the skin. And this really does look after super parched dry skin and gives your skin a lovely glow. Really, really beautiful. And the light version is a lot lighter than the original, but it's still quite rich on the skin. So if you're looking for something that's very lightweight and gel-like, this definitely isn't going to be it, but it is a lot lighter than the original version. Does exactly the same thing, really does look after dry skin. I would say that both of these are targeted at dry skin, not really normal or oily. I think this would be too much. But if you do love fragrant skincare, you may wanna give these a go because it's lovely and it really does the job. I just can't get this past my nose. Yeah, it's very strong. Next fail. So I've talked about the Huda Beauty Silk Balm before on my channel. I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's one of those products that there's no rhyme or reason why anyone should pay that amount for something that's practically a lip balm slash gloss. However, I couldn't get enough of it. I've bought probably three of them. So when these came out, although they're a little gimmicky, let's not lie about it. One of them's spicy. One of them is called icy. And these are supposed to tingle on the lips, plump the lips, and also hydrate at the same time. And also look like a nourishing gloss. The spicy version. I just can't get on board with this. It doesn't taste very nice. It's very hot and uncomfortable on the lips. It doesn't burn my lips off. It's not that uncomfortable, but I just don't see the point. It does say on the packaging, let me just read, because I did keep the packaging for reference. 72% agreed they had a lasting lip filler effect. I am part of the 28%. I, I just don't agree with that. I think it does the same as any sort of plumping lip gloss and it's not very comfortable. However, let's move on from the fails here because I mean, this is a fail for me. I just don't see the point. I really like the icy one. <laughs> It has a similar feel on the skin. It's tingly. It goes a little warm at first and then it's refreshingly cooling on the lips. And I wore this earlier on today as well as yesterday and the day before. And it's just pleasant and it does give you a little bit of a plumping effect. As does this, but I don't feel like it's lasting like it says it should be. Obviously, if you are going to have any sort of shine on your lips, they are going to look visibly plumper anyway. But I do feel like this gave me a bit of a flush, a little bit of a swelling if you will. It's not one of those products that is going to give you any lasting effects whatsoever, but it does look nice and I think it's kind of feels nice as well. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment and like that sort of tingling sensation. I really like it. <laughs> now I did have it on earlier on and kissed B and about five minutes later she came through and went, you've been eating something really spicy. <laughs> so it does have that tingling sensation in this as well as the spicy version. She really couldn't tell the difference between the two, but um, I really like the icy version and, and not so much the spicy version. Mainly the spicy version because the flavor of it, I, I just don't like, I just can't get on board with. And I'm not quite sure what it is, is it? 
supposed to be chilly I, I don't know I don't like the flavor of it whereas the icy one I, I, I really like it's like fruity I know I, I just like it do I think they're worth the amount that you pay absolutely not I much prefer the original silk balm but if you do like that tingling cooling sensation on the lips then I would go for the icy one anyway Again, very, very gimmicky, not worth the price point, but it's nice and hydrating and it does look plumping. Moving on to my next favorite, you may have noticed that I have fallen in love with fake tan over the summer. I am making full use of all of the fake tan products that we were testing out for you a couple of months ago. I just like the way that they make me feel. They make me feel like I'm getting involved in summer without having to step outside and bathe myself in the sunshine, which I don't do for obvious reasons. So I feel like I'm getting involved without actually getting involved, <laughs> but it makes me feel good. To get a streak-free, patchy-free tan, you need to exfoliate. And that is where the next product comes in. Now, usually I like an AHA exfoliant for both my face and my body, but when you're wanting to apply fake tan, you want something a little bit more immediate than an AHA exfoliant. So I've been using this one from First Aid Beauty because this one is a double whammy. This has got AHA exfoliants in there as well as it being a body scrub. So you get that immediate effect, but you also get that acid exfoliation as well. This is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. And even though it's got those two products in there, that AHA exfoliant and also the scrub, this is really gentle on your skin and it works a treat. So I have the mini version, not the big version, but I will be going out and buying the big version. You can see in here, it is a really nice creamy texture and it's also hydrating whilst it's getting rid of those dead skin cells. So I tend to do this when I'm in the shower because nobody wants to feel like they've been to the beach and then sat in a bath of water. That goes through me, not gonna lie. Ooh. This seriously does work. It will get rid of all of your dead skin cells. It will help smooth the skin. It will help hydrate the skin and it will make for a really beautiful canvas to apply your self tanning products on top of. I mean, the smoothness. So I'm not usually a fan of false lashes. I always look at people with false lashes on and think, don't they look beautiful? Do I want to be applying those myself? Absolutely not. I know how clumsy I am and also lazy. So I just don't have the time for that sort of thing. However, I watched somebody apply some false lashes the other day, just at the outer corners and saw how stretched the eyes looked, how lifted the eyes looked and how much younger the person looked as well once it applied just the smallest lash. So I thought I'm gonna have a go. <laughs> so easy, so super easy. Now the ones I went for are the Hoodie Flares number 25 classics from Huda Beauty. I thought I'd start with a brand that I loved and respected for quality. So I've gone for these ones. Now I have used these multiple times. You can use them and then put them back in the pack. And there is still a little bit of sticky left on so they do stick back in. I have four of them on today, two on my outer lash there and two on my outer lash there. You can just apply one just at the corners. To do that, I would just trim them down a little bit, but I do think they're really effective. These longer ones, I haven't tried. These are the dramatic flares, just way too long for me. I think I'd look absolutely ridiculous, but I do love the top two and will get my wear out of them. So the glue that I use to apply these, so, so easy. Again, it's from Huda Beauty and this is the Sticky Tack Lash Glue. So easy to use. You can either pop it on the back of your hand and dip the lashes in them or you can just paint it on the rim of the lash. Wait 15 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds for it to go really tacky and then just pop it in place. And usually I would end up with a lash in my eyebrow. <laughs> because <laughs> I am that bad. It did not happen with these. So super easy and I really do think it's effective. So if you were looking at me at the start of this video and thinking what's different, it's these and I love them. Now I'm not saying this is gonna be a daily thing for me, 
Maybe I'll wear them when filming, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll just wear them when I want to feel a little bit more special or when I want that lifted effect. Definitely not gonna be an everyday occurrence for me because it still takes a little bit of time. I would say one minute per eye, which I still think is a really, really quick time to be applying false lashes, especially when you don't do them every day like me. So, you know, it, it took a lot for me to muster up the courage but one minute each side, I don't think it's a lot of time at all. And I'm gonna get faster the more I do it. It still won't be every day for me, but I do love the look. This has to feature in this video because it hasn't been off my lashes since it arrived. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not usually a fan of Beauty Pie mascaras. They do nothing for my lashes. This one, completely different story. This is their The Perfect Waterproof Mascara and that is exactly what it is. It's perfect. I love it. I love the applicator. I love how it applies. I love how it volumizes my lashes. I love how it lengthens my lashes. And most importantly, I love the fact that it is super, super waterproof. You can either remove this with Beauty Pie's waterproof makeup remover, or you can remove this with an oil cleanser. Now I have noticed some reviews on the Beauty Pie website saying that this smudges. This does not smudge on me. However, please be warned, any sort of waterproof mascara, if it smudges on you, does not mean that it's not a waterproof mascara. And I've learned this quite recently. This is not oil proof. This is waterproof. So if you do have a lot of oils on your upper lids or underneath your lash line, you are going to need to either add a little bit of powder underneath your lashes or add a little bit of powder to your lashes themselves to stop that sort of transfer from happening because like I've said, waterproof, not oilproof. Next favorite. I have been waiting to get my hands on this since before Christmas 2021. The shade that I wanted is constantly out of stock. I've finally managed to get my hands on it and it has not disappointed me one bit. This is from Victoria Beckham Beauty and it's one of her Cheeky Posh Cream Blushes. This is the shade Knickers. How gorgeous is that? It is so beautiful. It is creamy, it is silky smooth and it melts into the skin. And it's also really long lasting for a cream blush. Now I say really long lasting, if you live in a really steamy hot climate, this may not be for you. It's really hot in this filming room. Um, I have had to reapply during the 10 hours that I've been in here. Yes, you heard me say it, I have been in here for 10 hours. This has had one reapplication. So if you're wanting something waterproof, budge proof, this is probably not it, but if you're wanting something that is beautiful and dreamy and creamy, give this one a go. It is beautiful. If you are wanting something completely budge proof, however, these are your go-tos. These are from Made by Mitchell and they are the liquid blushes called Blush. Now I have these in two shades. My recent order for another shade is on its way to me. These are the two shades that I have. So on the top, we have the shade Melon Sorbet, which is their best selling shade. It is beautiful. And on the bottom, we have Peach Sugar, which is a much more corally toned shade. I love them both. I'm gonna struggle to get these off. So they blend out really, really beautifully. I am just rubbed that with my finger and it's blending really nicely, even though these have now been on my hand for a good two minutes, but so stunning when they're blended out and they're really, really pigmented. I have to use an oil cleanser to get these off my skin because they stick around for an incredibly long amount of time. So if you are wanting something that is incredibly long lasting and gives you that beautiful sheen on the skin, that really lovely flushed girly look, 
go for these. Another product that I've mentioned in my previous videos is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I am so impressed with this, not just because this is an affordable product, just because of the quality of it. I just think it is fantastic. I've said it before, I don't like the really large doe foot applicator, but the product inside is superb. This is either a beautiful primer, you can mix this in with your tinted moisturiser or your foundation to make your foundation or tinted moisturiser a little bit glowier, or you can use this as a lovely subtle highlight on the high points of your face or on your body. It's just lovely. I'm not going to go on about it masses because I have spoken about it at length in my drugstore better than high-end video. I will link that up here if you haven't already seen that video, but it's definitely worth checking this out. It's lovely quality. This brow and lash serum from The Ordinary is absolutely fantastic. This is full of really nourishing, hydrating ingredients as well as beautiful peptides that will really aid looking after those lashes and helping them to grow in a really, really healthy way. Two weeks was all it took for me to see a difference in my lashes. First of all, I saw a difference in how my mascara was applying much smoother, much more fluid. My lashes weren't wavy, which they can sometimes get I know that sounds a little bit strange. I don't know if any of you have that issue. If your lashes are getting a little bit crunchy, not with mascara, just on their own because they're dehydrated and they're trying to grow, but they're not growing very healthily. You get that sort of wave to them. This stopped that pretty much immediately. Within two weeks, I saw a difference. And then after that, the length started to come on and I am loving the outcome. I'm using this on my brows now because I've run out of my Revita brow, so I'm now using this on my brows as well, so we'll see how I get on, but really impressed so far. And uh, after my previous video went live, I am going to be buying my auntie some of this because she wants some as well, so I need to place another order. I'll probably order another one for myself as well, just in case I run out, but you get quite a lot of the product in here for the price as well. You get five mils of product and I really like the applicator because it holds enough of the serum so you get enough of the product so you're not having to continuously go in and out of the tube. I can't speak highly of this enough. I think it's a great product, great ingredients and it does the job. What's not to like? So this month I have head over heels fallen in love with a brush, <laughs> which seems a little strange, but you'll see what I mean when you actually see this. This is the cutest brush and it feels lovely and it applies either concealer or I use this for powder really, really well. It's from BK Beauty and it's from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection. It's the A506 brush or as a lot of people call it, the kitten paw brush because it has that sort of lovely kitten paw flat pad on the end, which is great for patting underneath that eye area so you can get a little bit of powder or a little bit of concealer if you want to apply your concealer with this on the end. Tap off the excess on the back of your hand or on a palette and then just go in underneath the eye and you get the smoothest application. It's the right size for underneath the eye. I also like to pad a little bit of powder in between my brows. It's a great size brush for that. Not too big, not too small. Just love it. Absolutely love it. It's just unique for the actual shape of this. I've never seen a brush that looks like this before and it, I, I just love it. What, what else is there to say? Just love, 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 love. And finally, we got there in the end. Dior have brought out a transfer proof bullet lipstick. Not a transfer proof liquid lipstick, which we've all tried a dozen of those that claim to be transfer proof. Oh no, a transfer proof bullet lipstick. And these, are amazing. I have two different shades. So these are the Rouge Dior Forever lipsticks. 
completely transfer proof. If you apply these on a bare lip, you are not going to get any transfer even when you're drinking. So I have two different shades. The top shade is Forever Tender 231, which is a limited edition shade. And then the bottom shade is 210 in Forever Naturel. These do claim to be non-drying. I don't really agree with that 100%. The first time I tried this, completely bare lips, just applied it just to try it out. Did not transfer one little bit, but my lips did feel a little bit dry. This feels creamy and hydrating on the lips, but after a few hours, it feels like you're wearing a liquid lip. In my opinion, I would prefer to wear a little bit of moisturization, a balm underneath, pad it off so there's as little on your lips as possible, then apply these. They are still going to be super, super long lasting, but your lips aren't gonna dry out. I think they are amazing. I wanted to get three shades. The fairest shade, the sort of mauve shade, was out of stock when I placed my order. So I will be buying that one as well, which says a lot because these are quite pricey. I want another. I have to buy another. So that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what products you've been trying out this month, which ones have been your ultimate favorites and which ones have been complete flops that we all just need to steer clear of. Have you tried any of the products that are my favorites? Do you completely disagree with me? Have your say in the comment section and I really hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.